pray. For the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He's also becoming, become my salvation. Um, and I want to thank you all. Um, this is a very special day for our family, not only because I'm up here. Um, I became a mother of my fifth and sixth child on this day. Um, and it re reminds me of all the trials I had with him. Um, I had um, a condition called twin to twin transfusion syndrome with them, and states that one is getting enough and the other was not receiving anything. So, plain being, I had to have surgery in my womb to save them. They only gave me 20% and 50% of the other surviving. And when they were born, they were born seven months premature. And Viviana stayed a whole month in the NICU. And with four children, I was, it was hard for me. My husband worked two jobs. And I was a mother of four, and I took care of all my kids by myself. Thank God. Thank God. Good. <laughs> um, so when, before I was able to bring Viviana home, I had to stay with her, and I, they had to prove that I was a fit enough mother to take care of her. Because she came, she would sleep on me. She would get out, her heart would stop. She would stop breathing. So she came home with an apnea monitor, like apnea sleep, and kind of thing, and for five, six months, I didn't sleep with her. And then not to stay alone, Victoria stayed in the NICU for two more months. So with one home and no one being trained how to do the machine, I couldn't go see her very much, which broke my heart. Um, however, one day I got the courage, and I said, enough is enough. My daughter's fine. Why are not, they not releasing her? Right. So I told my niece, come with me. Yes. Stay in the uh, waiting room with Viviana. If anything happens, I will be in the NICU. The NICU, I can see the window, I can see them. And I said, I need to see the doctor. Why are they not releasing Victoria? Correct. So I, went, I got there about 9. The doctor didn't get there until 11.30 to do her runs. And I finally asked the question, doctor, I know that my daughter's well. Why is she not being released? And she looked at me and she said, do you want me to be honest with you? I said, yes. She said, I don't think you're a fit enough mother for this child. So I got very upset. And I said, well, if you seem that deemed, you send nurses, you send social services to my home, but my daughter will be released to me today if she has no issues. And she never sent anyone. And to this day, they're healthy, beautiful children. So, in that thing, I am giving all the glory to God. He has been my rock. He has been my salvation. He has saved me. And when you see me up here praising him and going crazy for God, Nowadays, 
you try and you say, Lord, but it's your promise, and you have his promise in your mouth, he will show you what a great God he is. Yeah. Because his word says it. Amen. So I'll encourage everyone this year is to get a little bit more into your word. Read a little bit more. Because his promise is laid in this book. This book is alive. It speaks back to you if you just listen to his soft voice. You know, he had been prompting me to read the whole book of Isaiah. And I was listening to my house because sometimes, you know, you get busy and you want to do two things at one time. And as soon as I heard the scripture, I stopped. I was like, whoa, Lois, you're amazing. I started from chapter 1 and I stopped at 12. So 12 2 is my scripture for the end of the year. The year is saying that he is my salvation. He is my rock. Yes. No matter what yes. it yes. look like, it yes. look bad. But he's still there with yes. all of us. With all of us. And yes. you just got to ask him. You pay his word and ask him more. But that's your promise. Your promise stays in here. And he will show it to you. Sooner or later, he will show it to you. Amen. Awesome. Awesome.